All right, guys, welcome back. And today is not going to be a Nine Innings 21 video. I figured that I should go ahead and do a room setup tour for 2021 as well, since I did the PC build um, a week ago. So that's what this video is going to be today. I'm going to take you around my room, show you all my parts and pieces that uh, I'm using to do everything and what will be coming in the future and stuff, what I'm going to be using all these parts for and stuff. So um, it'll be a pretty quick video, but it'll be something to show you guys how I do everything and how my setup is and how the PC looks in my room and stuff now. So what I'll do, I'll go ahead and show you a before of my room uh, before I did all this stuff. And actually when I did the PC that same night, I started rearranging my room and setting how I wanted. And then I finished it up that Sunday, the day after. So uh, I took a video before I, I did all that stuff to show you my old setup. And then we'll go through and go through the whole room uh, with the new setup. So with that said, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. All right, guys. So this is a little before um, of my room, the setup that I had before the one I'm about to show you guys. Obviously, it's very messy and disorganized. And uh, I actually took this video right after I finished the PC build. It was not uh, it was last Saturday, February 6th, I believe. So at, right after I was done building the PC, I took this video. Then I went and started on this set up and finished it the next day on that Sunday. So I think you guys are going to like the new setup. All right, guys, to start us off, we got a little poster that I got made for my senior night for baseball, my senior year. My uh, mom and sister put that together for me, so we hung that up. Next, we got the Seattle Seahawks flag hanging right over my bed. I'm a huge Seattle uh, Seahawks fan and uh, didn't get as far as I wanted to this season. Had a good regular season, but got knocked out in the wild card round, so not too happy about that. But then over here, we got a Dwayne Wade poster I got, I believe, when I was in the second grade. And then right next to it is a poster of uh, artwork I made in um, freshman year. I would, did different types of pitches. I drew those out, and then we did some shading with it. Over here, I got my nightstand. I got some books, uh, some snacks and stuff that I keep to myself that I don't want anyone else eating, a little lamp and stuff. So... Uh, right below that, I got my charger. I have it connected to this outlet right here. And then the big showstopper right here is my senior banner from baseball senior year. Uh, I was number 16. We had the Vandy style unis going. And then right here, I have a little plaque from a championship in a tournament that we won. And then I got my shoe collection right here. Got one right there because it doesn't all fit on there. Then I got these nice... Um, not sure what type of LeBron James shoes these are, but um, I got these nice white ones right here. And then I got these work shoes, some more work shoes, um, some LeBron, some more LeBron James shoes right down there. Um, some Nike shoes right there. Then I got these Kyrie's that I custom made right here. And if you actually look right here, it has my uh, last name uh, imprinted on them. So I wouldn't lose them and we would know if they're, mine even though i doubt anyone else has the Kyrie's that i know like that but then uh right here we got some more work shoes in this box but uh, these are my prized possession as, as far as shoes wise um you might already know by the box if you collect shoes and stuff but uh these were not cheap this is actually the original like packaging and stuff pull this out these are the harden Volume 3 Iron Man Edition shoes. I don't even believe they're made anymore. Um, but I, I got them on StockX. And I, I've taken them out of the box maybe twice. These probably will never get worn. My goal was to get them signed by Robert Downey Jr. And then eventually by James Harden. I know that's two um, unlikely events to happen. But that's my goal with those. But those are obviously my private possession. Um... That's pretty much it for that. Let me put these back up here. Then we got a nice little stool that I had senior year. We uh, got a locker room built my senior year and we had our own lockers and we, that was the stool I had. Up here is a little, um, I don't even know when this was made, a little wood carving with my name. That's my actual name is Jacob with the K. Um, but I go by Jake and I had that made when I was pretty young. I don't even know when that's from, but uh, now we'll go ahead and move on to the little dresser right here. So this is pretty much where everything that I don't know where to put goes. Like obviously right here, this is a little um, 
Mocha adapter. It runs through the coaxial cable and it gives me um, sharp internet up here because my router's far away. So I can uh, pretty much do everything wired connection. So it takes the internet connection from the coaxial cable and then we run it out to a switch right here. This switch links up to my PC, Xbox and everything. And then right here, I have a little, my own little router and it's called Jake's Wi-Fi. Um, but then it has um, other things hooked up to it ethernet wise, but it also provides Wi-Fi for my room and also some other people in the house up here. So then after that, we got all these Xbox controllers. These two are the main ones that are used right now. These two are old, don't really work well. This one has not been, I think this is the original Xbox controller we got when we got our first Xbox, I believe in like 2015, our Xbox One. And then we have two Xbox Ones. This one is a terabyte. This one is a 500 gigabyte. And then this little stand right here, I made this actually last week before I started did the setup. I just took some plywood, uh, cut it out, and then um, painted it black to match the Xbox. And if I ever get a black dresser, it'll match in perfect. But then I went ahead and screwed it in and it works perfectly, gave me, gave me some more space. Then I got some cologne, my sunglass hut glasses, my deodorant, and then this is a sound bar. Um, I got it from Best Buy. I don't remember the exact make and model, but it makes um, my TV sound very nice. My eye drops and stuff. I got LASIK surgery, so I have dry eyes now. Those are essential. And then right here, this is an Xbox 360 power adapter. And the reason that is, is because the 360 will be going right here. I have a 360. It is currently getting worked on. We are getting it, um, we're getting a jailbroken with JTAG and stuff. And we're gonna be getting NCAA um, college football revamped. So that's what we're waiting on. We got another power adapter so we can move it between my room and my brother's room. We can both play it. This is the HDMI cord that we're waiting, that it'll be connected to in the ethernet cord, obviously. So then moving on next, we got the 4K, I believe 43 inch TLC um, TV. And as you can see, we have Iron Man going. I'm a huge Iron Man fan. I've watched this movie hundreds of times. I, I, I'm obsessed with it. And so I figured why not throw it on? This is one of my favorite scenes, the first flight test scene. Don't want to get too um, distracted from the actual video though. So that's my uh, my TV, 4K, 43 inch TLC Roku TV. Um, and then right here, we got a Kid Cudi album cover from the Man on the Moon, the first album. Um, so I have that hung up right there. And then this poster right next to it is the Tag de Toten um, art poster. Um, it, they only did a limited amount of these and my buddy got it for me. We were really into zombies and we did every Easter egg in BO3 and BO4. I was a huge zombies guy. Not really into Cold Words uh, zombies. I actually don't even have the game, but I was a huge zombies guy and that is uh, what that poster is. So then moving on to the main thing you guys really wanted to see, the actual desk setup where I do all my work. So I guess we'll start out TV remote, soundbar remote, some AirPod, um, I believe the AirPod second generation right there. And then we got our Razer Black Widow keyboard. And then right here, this is a Hyper uh, X uh, gel pad, uh, gel pad for my wrist because um, I could feel my, I felt like I had beginning of carpal tunnel because I don't do profit, like proper, um, proper typing with my hands. I, I feel like you tend to uh, rest them on the table. So this allows me to do that and feels really comfortable. And then right here, we got a razor, um, mouse pad. I'll link it down below. I don't remember the exact name of it, but I will put it down in the description. And then this is the razor. Hyper X, I think Ballistic or something like that. That'll be linked down below though too. And then right here, we got um, the MAG 24C MSI uh, 24 inch, 144 um, Hertz, 1080p gaming monitor. And then the monitor, my main one right here is the MAG 240CR. And it's literally the same thing as this, just updated, has a little bit better color accuracy. And it also can, there's more settings you can actually use on your computer to change around. So it's literally just the updated version of this. It's a little better in color uh, color accuracy, accuracy and stuff. And it actually can get up to 165 Hertz overclock. So that's that monitor. This right here is my webcam. It's a, I think a C525 or something that'll be linked down below. We will be replacing this in the future, but right now it's not a main concern, but that's my webcam right here. Seattle wireless charger. I got it from the NFL shop. 
huge Seattle fan, as I told you guys earlier. And then back behind here, if you guys can see that, these are the um, some Logitech Bluetooth speakers. I'll link those down below too. I don't know the exact name of that. This is my Wi-Fi router I mentioned earlier. It's a Netgear that uh, provides Wi-Fi to my whole room and everything. And um, not, not a lot of stuff is actually hooked up to Wi-Fi. All this stuff like my PC, Xbox and everything else is Ethernet, even my TV. But my phone and anyone else that needs to connect up here can use that and have great speeds even up here, far away from the main um, modem slash router. So that's that. And then right here, we got my AirPod, no, not AirPod, Apple Watch charger. And then these actually things right here, the black things, I don't remember what they're called, but they you stick them on and it like routes the wire so they don't fall off the table. Uh, they're super nice. I got one for that wireless charger. Uh, one It runs my um, keyboard cable back there and it uh, keeps my Apple Watch charger up there. And then right here, we got um, an Apple Lightning charger. It's actually hooked up to my PC. So when I do my Nine Innings videos, I plug it into there and I can move them over that way. That's how I do that. And then before we get into the PC, we got the blue Yeti mic. So don't want to scratch up the wall, but then we got the blue Yeti boom arm and then the shock mount as well. I got this in a package for a little under $200 all together. I think if you bought them separately, it's around 250 to 275 separate. So I saved myself some cash that way. And then these are the Corsair HS60 Pros, I believe, and they have the blue, uh, um, USB surround sound connection. It's hooked into the back, but that's what these are. They're pretty nice. I've tested them out a little bit, still working with them, getting to look to sound pretty crisp, but these will become essential. They're super comfy too. I think I got it for around like uh, 50 bucks. They're on sale. They're normally like 70. So now the main thing, if you guys haven't seen the PC build yet, Go watch that video. I'll link it um, in the description and there should be a little pop-up that pops up right around this time for you to go see that video as well. Not gonna go into detail because you can go watch that video, but this is my PC, the Corse, uh, Corsair 4000D case. Uh, it's kind of hard to see in here. Don't got a lot of RGB, but we got the 3060 Ti in there. We got the NZ, uh, NZXT X63 Kraken AIO in there. It's a 280 millimeter AIO. We got 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM running at 3,200 megahertz. And then we got, um, let's see, we got the 97 Evo in there, Elgato HD 60 Pro for uh, console gameplay and some other things. We got the Z390 uh, gigabyte ROS Pro um, Wi-Fi motherboard in there. And then we got some Fantex fans in the front that are two, uh, 200, no, 140 millimeter fans in the front. So, that's pretty much the build. I'm kind of out of breath. It's getting hot in here, I can't lie. But uh, the lights for the room, they're on the back. They are, they're like some monster type lights. Uh, I got them for like 15 bucks. They hook up to my phone though. I can control them and change them. It looks pretty nice. I got one on my dresser, one for my desk, and then one on the back of the TV. So moving on, we'll uh, wrap this up. We got the Iron Man posters. We got Iron Man one right here, Iron Man two, Iron Man three, Looks very clean. I kind of call this the Iron Man wall. Got some Iron Man comic um, right there. And then doesn't really fit in, but the only place I could really throw it in. We got the DK Metcalf jersey. So story behind this. I actually bought this as a Christmas present for myself from my parents. I went ahead and bought it. I gave it to them. They wrapped it up and then they um, paid me back for buying it. And I got it on Christmas. So I got this in 2019, his rookie year. This was before he really blew up into what he was this year. I mean, obviously you could tell he was going to be a star, but uh, he really played well this season. Second half was not so great, but also none of the, the offense didn't play great as a whole, the whole second half of the season. So huge Metcalf fan as well. Absolute beast. I think he's the closest thing to Calvin Johnson since Calvin Johnson, not saying he is, but he's the closest thing to it. I feel like in terms of size and speed. So then don't even know. I'm not even going to link this down there. I don't know what type of chair this is. It's a gaming chair. It's not even actually mine. It was one that my dad bought, but he switched me chairs because the other chair I had was better for back support. So I just took that chair. It's actually pretty nice. I can uh, lock it in or I can do it where I can lean back. Adjustable. It, it does what it needs to be do, um, for me to be successful and stuff and not have back pains and stuff. I'm not too, uh, too worried about upgrading that anytime soon. Then down here, 
these are the Panasonic uh, rechargeable batteries. If you have a console and it's an Xbox and you use batteries, I highly suggest you invest in these. They last super long compared to normal batteries. And then you recharge them. I got a, uh, two sets of four. So I have two in the controllers over there in each controller. And then we got four charging. So some are always charging. I'm telling you, this is worth it. It was like 20 bucks. You will save money in the long run for sure with how fast you go through batteries. So I suggest those. And then really the only thing else, we got this LeBron James Just Do It poster. I believe I got it in like second or third grade in gym class. I won an event or something. I got to choose poster, chose that, put him up there. It's actually a little bit uneven now. I think about it. Now it looks a little better. There we go. But uh, yeah, that's that poster. And that's pretty much it. I got my hamper. Um, trash bin and stuff but uh that's pretty much it for the setup so um let me know get down in the comments what do you guys think of this I, I think it looks pretty nice there's obviously a lot i could improve but uh i think it looks pretty good at least right now um especially compared to the before uh if you saw that earlier in the video it, i feel like it looks a lot more clean and uh oh i forgot this little guy this little action figure down here i got it from pre-ordering um world World War Zombies, I believe, or the World War game. I pre-ordered it. Game actually turned out to be a flop, but I threw that action figure in there. I might, I might get an Iron Man and throw it on there as well in the future. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this setup. There's not much more for me to show you, but we'll do a quick 360 real quick to end up off the video before we head out. So this is what it's looking like. It's pretty nice and it works for me so that's all that matters and uh, there's still some upgrades i'm going to do like i said i'm going to get a new um logitech webcam i might eventually um get like a key light or something if i do some more i'll throw it like right behind the uh the monitor and it'll give us some better lighting than just that light right there we actually have a light bulb out i probably can't tell that one's out so it'll give some more even lighting and it'll change up the tone a little bit it will be less yellow light and more white light That'll be in the future, not anytime soon, I feel like. So I'm going to stop rambling off. This is probably pretty quick. I'm talking fast, but I'm also like out of breath because it's hot in here and I'm walking around. And uh, yeah, I think I covered everything. So I'm going to go ahead and head to the outro. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, go ahead, leave a like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, so there's actually two things I forgot to show you guys before we head out of this video. So I also forgot to show you that this hook, this TV is also hooked up through an HDMI cord to my PC. I run it all the way back behind the um, dresser and uh, desk up to my PC. If I go to HDMI 2, it's pretty much a third monitor. This will be nice in the future. Um, as you can see right there, that's my third monitor. So it's kind of that type of setup. Then one more thing. I know some of you guys probably want to see this. Cable management looking pretty clean at the desk. Nothing on the floor. I got some racks uh, along um, Amazon Basics um, metal outlet thing that I drilled into the back so everything can plug in. Yes. Cables are kind of hanging right here. They're running over here. I'm not concerned as many about the cable management over here at the dresser because you can't see much. But uh, the desk looks a lot better. A lot better than before. Best cable management I've had um, out of any of my setups. So... That's what I want to show you guys. I'll stop rambling and uh, we'll go ahead and head to the outro of the, of the video. All right, that pretty much concludes the room setup tour for 2021. I pretty much showed you everything I could and everything in my room that is at least important or somewhat important or has some importance to me. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't have much more to say. And if you did, go ahead, leave a like and subscribe. And with that said, I will see you guys next time.